Hey there, ladies and gentlemen, the food experience is back. And today's experience, I'm going to be cooking some rice in the Instant Pot that's going to be uh, in uh, chicken broth and also curry. I'm also going to add a chopped up carrot in the mix. And on the side, I'm going to be cooking some butterfly chicken breast that is seasoned with thermal runaway from Hellfire and Brimstone. It is a curry hot sauce and it is delicious and super spicy. So that's what I got going on. Anyone in the chat yet? Uh, we got three people watching, that's cool. Welcome to the food experience. And um, this should go without a hitch, I'm hoping. I did this yesterday as a trial run. The only thing I didn't use was the carrot and also the curry powder that I'm gonna use this time. So. We'll see how it goes, you know? All right, first things first, got to process the carrot because that's going to go in with the rice and that's going to be second. So let's go ahead and take care of that, right? All right, let's go ahead and go down and show you what I'm working with. Okay, so I got the Ninja Master Chef. Let me get my chef knife. And first, we're going to chop up a carrot a little bit. Not much. Just makes it easier for uh, the food processor. There we go. I'm going to cut off the end of this. Don't need that. All right. And let's go ahead and load that in to the Master Chef. Love this device. Great time-saving device right here. Let's go ahead and put on the top. There we go. Put the Ninja motor on and let her rip. I think that should be good. I don't want it to be diced too finely, but I don't want it to be too coarse either, but I think that should work. So, all right, let's go ahead and put that on a plate. And then we're gonna set it aside. Let's get out the blade. Careful with these blades, they are super sharp. I uh, just stopped in to say hello, been playing Trials and Destiny 2. What's up, Pike Place? Thanks for stopping by, man. Okay, there may be slightly more carrots than I need, but hey, that's all right. Go ahead and wash this out. All right, let's go back up. All right, and we're back. So now I have some chopped up carrots. Looked like they came out really well. Really happy with the uh, effects of that. Wash this off. And I got a train going by. Choo choo. Dang, man, I think I just hit my finger on one of those blades that I told you to be careful about. <laughs> Isn't that fun? Well, that's okay. I only barely nicked it, but there was some immediate blood action. That's always fun. I think I'll get a Band-Aid. Be right back. All right. And I'm back with a Band-Aid. There's my owie. <laughs> Oh, man, when you go live and you do shit and or stuff, should I say? I'm sorry. Um, you never know what could happen. Things happen. And um, that just happened. Yeah. All right. So let's go ahead and uh, put a Band-Aid on this thing. All right. There we go. I'm all protected, right? So thanks for tuning in, everybody, whoever's online that is not saying hello. Only one person said hello. Next thing we got to do is prepare the rice. So I went to Stater Brothers and I got some enriched long grain white rice, right? And the basic rule of thumb for the Instant Pot is one cup of rice, one cup of liquid. So we're going to go with one cup. A lot of people make two cups, but they have a family. I'm all alone, so... Don't have to uh, cook two cups, you know? Yeah, that's right, about a cup. Go ahead and put this aside. 
And the next thing you got to do, and this is very important for people that use the Instant Pot, if you do not rinse the rice and get rid of the starch, it's going to be like all clumped up and and or mushy, that kind of thing. It's very important you rinse the rice first. So that's the first thing we're going to do with it. I got a strainer right here. I'm going to pour it right in. And this may take me a minute, so uh, just stick with me here. And you want to keep doing this until the water runs clear. I feel like I'm cooking Jiffy Pop. <laughs> But it is a very important step. Definitely do not pass it up. And it should take about a minute. I keep shaking it so everything gets hit with the water. And the water is definitely getting more clear. I can see it. All right. That ought to do it. Uh, Brian, what's going on? Nice to see you too. Absolutely. All right. So next thing. Got my instant pot. Going to remove the lid. And first thing I'm going to do is add the liquid. Got some chicken broth right here. You can use whatever brand you want. It doesn't matter. And it's going to be normally a cup. But since I'm adding carrots, I'm going to go more than a cup. Because otherwise, there's not going to be enough liquid. And you may get like a, I don't know, like a dry burn option on your Instant Pot. Okay. So, yeah, got a little bit more than a cup there. Some of this is trial and error. I did it yesterday with just the rice, not the carrots. So uh, it be really interesting to see how this turns out. Okay, and then I'm going to add, let's do the curry next. All right, got my measuring set. And I'm going to go for, I don't know, I'd say about a tablespoon of curry. I like it to be very curry forward, so I know what I'm eating. I love spices. There we go. One tablespoon of curry. And I'm using uh, this Lowry's curry that I picked up. Had it for a while. Boy, that smells good. I love that smell of curry, you know. Uh, at my mom's. All right. Cool, cool. Sounds good. All right. So now we're going to go ahead and add in the rice. that blade out of the way man that thing is dangerous <laughs> i should have known better all right okay now we're going to add in some carrots i don't think i'm going to be using all of these because the carrot to rice ratio it's going to be too much but i can take a handful and go ahead and drop them in there right okay next let's go ahead and stir it up Get the curry all stirred in there. Yeah, there's definitely going to be a lot of carrots, and that's okay. I love carrots. Okay, looks good. And everything is still submerged in liquid. If your um, rice and carrots and all that is above the liquid, you probably don't have enough liquid and should be really careful of doing that, all right? I'm going to set these carrots aside. Working with a very limited size kitchen. It's kind of amazing what you could do in it, right? So let's go ahead and put the chicken broth away. And now it's time to put the lid on the instant pot. There we go. Made us a little jingle. We are good to go. 
So we got four people on. Where is everybody? <laughs> Say hello for crying out loud. I got Brian. I saw Pike Place. What's going on, everybody? Okay, so now we're going to cook the rice and carrot concoction for four minutes on high pressure cook, all right? It's not really four minutes of time because it takes time to heat up and build the pressure. So while that's going, I'm going to go ahead and do the chicken. And then there's also like a 10-minute natural release. So go ahead and set it to pressure cook and then adjust the time to four minutes. There we go. And it should click on. There we go. Just turned on. Time to prepare the chicken, right? Okay, I'm going to do that on this plate. I don't want to get my cutting board all messy with sauce. All right. All right, so I got some butterfly chicken breasts right here. Also got the sauce that I'm going to go ahead and kind of baste on with a fork. Thermal Runaway from Hellfire and Brimstone. It is a very pepper and for, uh, curry forward sauce. It's got Carolina Reapers, Ghost Peppers, Habaneros, Scorpion Pepper, a uh, few other peppers. You can actually see the peppers in this liquid. I recently reviewed it. All right, so let's go ahead and take out some chicken breasts, right? All right, let's go ahead and go down. You can see what I'm doing. And maybe one more. There we go. That should work. I think I got two there, though. Hold on a sec. No, it's just a large piece. That's all. Okay. Just looks like it's overlapped here. Actually, just rip it out like that. Put this back. And I'm going to put that in the fridge. This whole time I've had the air fryer heating up to 380 degrees, which is where I cook my chicken at. Now let's go ahead and put some of this amazing sauce on it. It is a very thick sauce, as you can see. Oh, that's going to be a spicy chicken, I tell you. All right. I'm going to go ahead and turn it over and hit the other side a little bit. Oh, shoot. One thing I forgot to do. Let's go ahead and cancel that. Lucky I checked ahead of time. <laughs> I tell you, when you go live and do these things, it is so easy to forget stuff. Wish I had like a teleprompter like they do in the news stations. That would be cool, you know? Okay, let's go ahead and get the other side of this, and I'll show you what I did or didn't do, should I say. Luckily, the pressure didn't build up yet. Okay, that looks pretty good. All uh, right, so one thing I didn't do is add salt to the mix here. So let me do that. And you don't have to use salt from what I understand, but I think it makes it so the rice doesn't stick together as much, you know? And let's go ahead and give it one more stir. All right, there we go. All right, let's go ahead and put the lid back on. <laughs> We're going to do it right this time, right? Okay, pressure cook, four minutes, bam. Let her rip. <laughs> okay. Got to love these live cooking shows. You know, all kinds of stuff could happen. So while that's going, I'm going to let the chicken sit here and absorb the sauce for a minute because it's only going to take... Um, probably about 15 minutes for the chicken to cook maybe a little less actually probably like 12 minutes for the chicken to cook so being that this has a 10 minute release 
Uh, once this is almost done cooking, then I'm going to go ahead and throw the chicken in. That way it's still nice and hot. Or I could just serve it on the rice and put it back in uh, the oven for warm. I don't know. Really doesn't matter. Six of one, half a dozen of another, right? Uh, give me one sec. I will be right back. We got three people on, but no one's saying hello. What is up, everybody? Sure would be nice to hear from folks. Um, we've been battling a fire here and uh, got really close to my house last night, probably about seven miles away. And um, fortunately, it didn't get any closer. It seems to be moving out. I see blue sky when I look out the window, and that's not a bad thing. All right, be right back. All right, and I am back. So we got five people on. What is going on, everybody? Hope you're having an okay weekend. It's been a really tough weekend for me. Um, just lost a friend. That really sucks. Um, so anyhow, I'm dealing with it, dealing with losing a friend, having a forest fire. There was an earthquake the other night. And um, here I am cooking. Kind of gets my mind off of stuff, you know? But uh, anyone out there? I'm not even sure if I'm live streaming anymore. I'm pretty sure I am. It says there's five people watching. Um, and we just got to wait. Now is the waiting game because the pressure is building up in the instant pot. And there's really not too much else to do. Uh, I guess one thing I could do is sample some of this hot sauce and give you my impressions of it. Hold on. Oh, it's right here. All right. So this stuff's hot. This stuff is quite a doozy. Got some Tostitos. And i um, give you my impressions. This stuff is a hot one. Oh, I loaded up a lot on there. Check that out. Oh, boy. Mm. Immediately get curry and peppers. Um, I'm definitely tasting a myriad of peppers. I almost think there's some garlic in that as well. It's kind of smoky and savory. A little bit sweet, a little bit of a tang from the vinegar. I feel the heat building up in my mouth now from, uh, you know, the Carolina Reapers and Scorp... Mm, there go the hiccups. <laughs> Scorpion peppers and ghost peppers um, have a sl slow delay in the buildup. Sorry. I always get hic hiccups when eating the super hot. So. Not so much in the dish I'm cooking. They won't affect me like that. The heat is... Heat, wow, hiccups. The heat is still building. Wow. Wow, this is definitely a nice hot sauce, folks. <laughs> By itself, it's uh, definitely a mouth destro destroyer for some. If you're not used to any hop stuff, um, this would probably go through the roof. John, what's going on? Loving the cooking show. Thank you very much, man. Um, you know, some of this is experimentation, although I did cook most of this recipe yesterday. Came out great. Bob, what's going on? How you doing, man? I got um, chicken marinating in that thermal runaway hot sauce. Um, the hiccups are gone now. It's still burning in my mouth. Um, when I cook it on the chicken like this, it's not quite as hot. I tried it yesterday for a test run. Came out bomb. 
I got the rice getting up to pressure right now in the instant pot with some chicken broth and some curry and a little bit of salt. There we go. Four minutes. Okay. So pressure is up. I see the pressure valve rise and it's just got four minutes to cook and then a 10 minute release. So while that's doing that, I'll go ahead and throw the chicken in. I cut my finger earlier, accidentally touched one of those, um, Master Chef blades. Didn't think I would ever do that. I should never have left the thing in the sink. That's the problem. Didn't cut myself bad. It was just like a little nick, but still. So we got... Uh, sorry, my throat. Wow, that hit my throat now. We got some uh, seven people on. Good evening, everybody. In case you don't know me, I'm KJ Andio. Welcome to the Food Experience. Tonight's dish is going to be really good, really spicy. Um, if you like rice and carrots, um, it should come out really nice. You, you also have to like curry to like what I'm doing. And um, hoping this comes out fantastic. I told you those things were sharp. Yeah, man, I barely touched it. It's not like I went bam against it. Like I barely grazed it. And uh, yeah, sure enough, man, blood started coming out. Only like that much of, a, of an injury, that much of a wound. But still, that's the, those are some serious sharp knives, folks. If you have a um, Ninja Master Prep, be careful of those knives. I mean, I already knew that, and I still ended up cutting myself. You know, go figure. So now we only got five people on. I guess two people dipped out without even saying hello, man. I mean, what's up with people today, you know? Whenever I come on a live show, I'm like, hey, what's going on, guys, you know? But I appreciate everyone that is saying hi. We got Brian, we got John, we got Bob. Uh, Pike Place, I believe, had to go. And I got one thumbs up right now. And I got chicken that's uh, sitting here waiting to get thrown in the oven. In fact, I'm going to go ahead and put it in the air fryer tray. I love my air fryer, man. It is wonderful. So you can see the chicken is coated on both sides. Oh, yeah, that should do it. And I think there's a little bit more needs to be on this piece. Then it's going to be some super spicy chicken. All right, let's go ahead and rinse this off. Save that fork for when I'm eating. Now we got only four people on. Look, I can't do magic tricks. Otherwise, I would start doing that right now. Okay, we got one minute left of cooking. So I'm going to go ahead and throw this in. And I'm going to set the timer for six minutes. There we go. After six minutes, I'm going to go ahead and flip the chicken and then cook it on the other side for about another five to six minutes. That should take care of that. The rice concoction is going. One minute left to cook time before it goes into release mode. Boy, that sauce, man. Um, I'm actually feeling a little bit of a warm nasal drip. I'll tell you that much. Wow. That sauce is the real deal. Excuse me. Comes out of Texas. There we go. So now the Instant Pot is doing kind of like a natural release at the moment. Boy, I feel warmth right around here on my nose. That sauce is some serious business. I'll tell you what. Whoo. All right, let's go ahead and remove the Ninja motor. Don't need it right now. All right. I missed the beginning. Are the carrots in the rice? Yes, the carrots are definitely in the rice. What I did is I used the chopper bowl of the Master Prep Pro, and um, I kept doing it till I saw the carrot pieces get small enough. Here's... um. 
remainders of the carrots just so you could see what the master prep did. See that? Should be really nice. Let's have a bit of carrots. Yummy yum. But yeah, the carrots are in there with the rice, with the chicken broth, with a um, tablespoon of curry powder, and a few dashes of salt. Candy, are you gone through Moonshine Cherries? Yeah, I looked at my local store and can't get them. They're, they look good. Um, yeah, I got it at um, Bevmo. Bevmo has it. I don't think your local supermarkets, will, you'll see it there. Uh, got to go to Bevmo or Total Wine and Spirit, one of those places. That would mean an hour to chop by hand, right? That's what I'm saying, man. That Ninja Master Prep Pro thing is bomb. really saves out a lot of time. Uh, so, yeah, it's going. Um, when it reaches 10 minutes on the counter, then I'm going to go ahead and do a quick release, okay? But um, it's good to do a little bit of a natural release first on its own. Let's see. Got four people watching. Good evening, everybody. KJ Andio from the Food Experience is in the house. Give me one second. All right, and I got the chicken cooking in my Cuisinart TOA 60, uh, about 360, 370 degrees. It's kind of hard to tell on this. I don't have the digital model. And um, like I said, it's going to be six minutes on one side and about five to six minutes on the other side. I already tested it yesterday. Seems to be pretty foolproof. So that's what's going on. Dan, what's going on? How you doing, man? What's cracking? So uh, we're just kind of waiting at this point. Got to wait for things to cook. Got the chicken cooking, uh, the rice concoction with the carrots. Um, it's on three minutes out of 10 for the natural release. Then I'm going to quick release the rest of it and uh, hoping for the best. And then once I'm done with this all, I'm going to chop up the chicken and add it on top of the rice and carrots and then use a little bit of soy sauce and it should all be groovy and gravy. That's what's up. But thanks, guys, for tuning in. Really appreciate you all hanging out here. Appreciate everyone who's subscribed to my channel. Um, this is all new for me. It's kind of like a new beginning. I was used to eating out like fast food almost every meal. Um, I did some cooking in my younger years, but then I got away from it. And um, I'm glad to be getting back at it again. Ooh, I can smell the curry in this kitchen, man. Oh, it smells good. I love curry. If you love curry, you're going to love this dish. I'm pretty sure about that. I tried it yesterday with the rice without the carrot. Uh, I'm sorry, without the carrots, without the curry, and the rice came out perfect. So let's see what it does today. See what happens, you know. But yeah, I'm kind of experimenting as I go along in my cooking journey. I'm looking up different recipes online, and what I usually do is look up like three or four recipes and go, hmm, maybe I would change this, maybe I would change that, uh, maybe I would add this that this one has that this one doesn't have. And I kind of formulate my own recipe out of it. I know it's a little bit of cheating, but um, it's custom tailoring things to my own needs and my own likes, you know. So that's what I'm doing here. I looked up an instant pot recipe on how to cook white rice. And they're saying you should use either chicken broth or water, two cups of rice and two cups of liquid. So I figure, OK, well, it's that's a cup each. So I'm shortening it to one cup and one cup. And I decided to add curry. I forgot to add butter in there. Darn it. Well, when I did it yesterday, I, I used butter in with the rice. You always forget stuff when you're cooking live, you know. I don't think that's going to make a total difference, but we'll see. Okay, time to flip the chicken. Did the fire get any closer? No, I don't believe it did. It's pretty blue sky out there this way. That way there is smoke in front of my house, but... It's further away than it was yesterday. All right, give me one second here. And 
give that chicken a flip. I'll show you what it looks like right now. It's looking pretty good. I just flipped it, and that's what the underside looked like that was cooking. And let her rip. And I just dripped some stuff on this glove. Hold on. All right. That'll take care of that. And uh, let me set another timer. So I'm going to set for five and a half minutes since I put it in ah, roughly 20 seconds ago. Um, I just made a big ass batch of chicken and rice with carrots, onions, garlic, chicken broth with say some, what is that? Oh, awful. I don't know what that is. Oh, for your fur baby. So that's awesome. You know, I was thinking about adding onions and garlic in this and maybe I'll come back and do it again that way. Um, I'm just trying to keep the recipe simple to start just to make sure it's working fine. I really should have added the tablespoon of butter, but I don't think it's going to be a deal breaker. I mean, even in one of the recipes, it said it's optional, you know? So we'll see what happens. We're at seven minutes on the Instant Pot. Once it reaches 10 minutes, go ahead and quick pressure release it, you know? I missed the start. Is there any chilies going in the mix? Absolutely. Hold on. Oh, crack. Where did I put it? There it is. No. Where did my sauce go? Okay. Well, dang it. Oh, there it is. Um, no chilies per se, but this time I am using some thermal runaway from Hellfire and Brimstone. Basted the chicken with this on both sides. This says Carolina Reaper. Um, Trinidad scorpion, ghost peppers, habanero peppers, I think uh, serrano peppers, and maybe a couple others, and it's also got some curry. It's a really super thick sauce and um, definitely super spicy. Like, I still feel my nose burning here a little bit. Um, inside my mouth, it all went away by now, but it had me doing, like, some major hiccups for a second there. Okay, chicken is going. And all we can do is wait now. We're at eight minutes on the pressure release, natural pressure release. Almost there to the point where I could hit that quick pressure release. Opal is animal innards. Oh, yum. <laughs> I don't think I'd be enjoying any of that. <laughs> I'm really a picky eater. You don't even know, folks. I am like super, super picky with what I eat. And it's not all for the best either, but... Um, I know what I like and I eat what I like. And this is a dish that I thought of that is a little bit away from what I normally eat. You know, it's something a little bit different. Um, it's got curry in it and I don't, I've never cooked with curry. I've had curry dishes before and um, I thought I would try something my way and see how it comes out. So there you go. It's almost about done. We are getting so close. About two minutes and 40 on the chicken and another minute for the pressure release. So, all right, give me one sec. All right, and I'm back. What I miss? Only food I really don't care for is parsnips. I don't even know what a parsnip is. I've heard of it before. I have no idea what it is. But I'm a super picky eater. You name it, I probably don't like it. All seafood, anything out of the water, out of there. Don't like it. Olives, out of there. Mushrooms, out of there. Uh, cooked greens, out of there. Uh, I like greens raw in a salad like spinach and or broccoli um uh carrots i don't mind cook corn of course i like cooked um but the greens and, and cauliflower yeah get that out of there i'm like really a fussy eater folks you don't even know i hate broccoli <laughs> see i hate broccoli cooked but if it's raw and raw form if i'm dipping into like blue cheese or something to me it's really good 
Um, all right, so it looks like we reached 10 minutes. Let's go ahead and release with a quick pressure release. There we go. Always use a glove when you do that to avoid getting hot steam. And it's releasing good. I hear it. The valve still hasn't dropped any second now it should. There it goes. Okay, pressure is released. And boy, a bunch of curry came into the air at that point. All right, let's open her up. Cancel. Why am I running out of space here, folks? Okay. Well, that smells really good. And the curry gave the rice a nice color to it. This is going to be really good. Give me one sec. And one thing you got to do when you have rice cooking in the Instant Pot to make sure it doesn't clump is just run a fork through it. So I'm going to do that. You won't be able to see what I'm doing per se. But yeah, all the liquid got used up. So there's no more liquid in here. Chicken should be done. Let's go ahead and uh, pull that out a little bit. Actually, it can stay in there. It looks like it's all right. It didn't get burned by any means. Turn that off, though. Yeah, so you want to run a fork through the rice. Make sure it's not clumped up or anything like that. Boy, it smells good, though. All right, let's get it on the plate. Actually, I'm going to wait to get it on the plate. We're going to cut up the chicken first. Give me a sec. All right, get another cutting board. I believe they're part of the radish family. White carrots, but they don't taste anything like carrots. Fair enough. Mr. Drip Tip, what's going on? How you doing? All right, let's go ahead and remove the chicken. Here's what the chicken looks like. And I forgot to grab my phone, man. I wanted to take pictures of this stuff. Give me one second. This is uh, for when I get my video, or I'm sorry, my social media together to post this. Ah, crap. Turn off the video camera. Put on the camera. All right. And one for the rice. There we go. Buffering, huh? Not sure why it's buffering. Shouldn't be buffering. All right, let's go ahead and remove the chicken. There we go. I'm literally out of space, folks. Hold on. Okay. Want to make sure the rice isn't clumping. Uh, Bob says, my mom lives right outside of Portland. They're always, they're talking about evacuating. Dang. And then you just move. Andy, you know, I just moved from Washington to Mississippi last month. My neighbor called me this morning in Washington. Wow, that's crazy, Joshua. Jeez, man. All right, let's go ahead and cut up some chicken. I can't zoom in with this webcam, but we're just going to do it anyways. Let's go ahead and give a taste of this first. Oh, yeah. Oh, man, this chicken is juicy. All 
Okay. That's all cut up. Now I'm going to go ahead and get it to cut this way. And then again. Okay. Oh, this stuff's good. All right. Let's go ahead and cut it again. And maybe again. All right, that looks good. That should work. All right, let's go back up. Can't cut. Now I'm using this knife because, I don't know, my chef knife's dirty. Anyhow, it worked okay. Did fine. I'm sure everything is well separated here. Man, my nose is still running from that hot sauce that I sampled with you guys. Woo! That was a good one. That was a real doozy. All right. Need something to get the rice out. Let me run the fork through it one more time. That looks good. Should be a real tasty dish. Here's what the rice looks like. It's got carrots in it. Looks like it came out pretty good. Food looks good. Keep up the cooking. Gordon Ramsay. What's going on? Can't be the real Gordon Ramsay, right? Boy, I wish. Um, okay, so now we're going to go ahead and add the chicken. Uh, first, I want to take a snapshot for social media sake. And let's go ahead and add some chicken. And this chicken is super spicy, folks. I'm not going to lie. Definitely not going to lie. All right. Hold on. Uh, catch up with the comments. Let's see. Once you try jasmine rice, you would... I would go back to regular rice. Well, I guess I'm not uh, trying jasmine rice since I would go back to regular rice because that's what I'm using, regular long grain rice. Um, yeah, no doubt, right? I feel you there, man. I love Gordon Ramsay. He's cool. Sorry, I tried, man. Damn it all. <laughs> I prefer short grain. Um, yeah, no, they. Um, you're supposed to use long grain in the pressure cooker. I did a bunch of research on that. Yeah, I don't know about that, Manny. I know what I like, and I like what I want, and it all works out that way. Let me just take one more picture of this. Everyone likes things different. That's what makes us those amazing humans, you know? If there was only one rice liked by everyone, then there wouldn't be other rices, right? Um, okay, so what did I come here for? Oh, yeah, soy sauce. All right, so I'm going to drizzle it with some soy sauce. Here we go. I fixed it. Refreshed the modern modem. Oh, okay. Cool, cool. Put some soy sauce on top. That should be enough. And let's dig in. Let's see if I can get an angle Here's with... Ah, uh, crap. There goes my Google. Soy sauce. Here's a summary from PureWell. You can substitute other comparable ingredients. Yeah, when I comment, Six I'm never criticizing Andy. Just to, Oh, yeah, for sure, man. Absolutely. All right. So let's go ahead and dig in. Ah, crap. The phone is going off. It must have heard something with the Google name in it. All right, this looks really good, folks. Let's try the rice by itself. Really good. Definitely has a chicken and curry presence to it. 
Let's try it with some of that chicken. Ah, oh, delish. This came out great. Really did come out wonderful. Boy, the flavors I'm getting from this. I like my food to be, um, I wouldn't even just say spicy as in hot, but I like it to have a lot of flavor. I don't like bland food. And the carrots, man, just makes for a heck of a good dish. Thanks, John. And Joshua could criticize me because, I mean, he knows what he's talking about when it comes to cooking. This is good, though. Like, if I had this served to me at a restaurant, I would be, like, totally happy right now. Anyone that's just tuning in, here's what the final dish looks like. Super spicy chicken. I mean, it's making me sweat. I'm definitely feeling it build up in my mouth. Not as hot when I had it like straight off the tortilla chip. Like that was super hot. But it definitely is giving me some uh, mouth tingles, I'll tell you. Like, if you ordered something from like an Asian place... Sometimes they tell you one to three stars, one to five stars. I mean, this would be the maximum right here. Absolutely. Maybe even a little higher than what they normally serve, you know? It is delish. Uh, not for me, Bob. I don't like dark meat chicken. But I know you do, so that's cool. Yeah, not me. I like white meat chicken. Always have. You like food a little spicy? Don't think I can keep up with you. <laughs> you may not be able to. It's definitely pretty hot. You definitely tingles your mouth. Um, it's making my nose run a little bit. That's why I said it. Oh, well, you're funny. Uh, let's go ahead and do a sweat check because it's not hot in my room, but oh, yeah. It's definitely pretty spicy. Give me a sec to wash up. Yeah, it's definitely pretty spicy. Um, I'm going to say on my scale of spiciness, this dish as it stands right now for a level of heat is probably sitting at about a three. That's what I would say. Perfect for me, though. Uh, the sauce by itself, if you eat a spoonful of that sauce by itself, it put me up to like an eight. And go check out the sauce. If you want some really good spicy hot sauce mm, with some curry, go check it out at hellfireandfury.com. It's about 14 bucks a bottle. And every bit worth it. I'm with you there, Andy. Right on, Mr. Drip Tip. Well, if you like a five on a one to ten, this wouldn't be too hot. It would be too hot if you ate the sauce by itself. Um, then again, our levels of heat could be different. Like, my tolerance for heat could be different than yours. For someone that doesn't eat anything spicy, like they don't even eat pico de gallo. They eat nothing, right? Um, they'd be probably sitting at about a 9 or a 10 with this dish, you know? I don't know. Maybe a little less. It's hard to really imagine. Mm. 
But for people that consume spicy stuff, you're used to some good heat. It's probably going to sit you at about a four, maybe a five. For me, it's like at about a three. I think for the um, well-seasoned chili head, they'd probably be at like a one to a two, somewhere on that scale. I'm not quite a well-seasoned chili head yet. Working on it, though. Uh, Scotch bonnets are pretty hot. Hold on. Okay, Google. How many Scoville units to a Scotch bonnet pepper? 350,000 Scoville units. Here's a summary from Wikipedia. So 350,000 Scoville units. Like the hottest habanero is right about at that point. Um, these peppers are much hotter. I got Carolina Reaper, Ghost Pepper, Trinidad Scorpion. It's also got habanero. It definitely feels like a bunch of spikes on my tongue. Feels really groovy, to be honest. I have not gone to World Market yet. Sorry, I just got my routine, man, and I do my things my way, you know? But if I'm ever out that way, which I'm hardly on that side of town, I'll check it out. Jamaican jerk, one of my faves. Not familiar with that. If that's got like coconut or something, I wouldn't like it. I don't like coconut either. Uh, Dave's Insanity sauce sucks, okay? Let's be honest. It is an extract hot sauce. It tastes like crap. I've had it before, yes. I've had regular Insanity and Total Insanity, and they both suck. They taste horrible. They're really meant to spice up like say a bowl of soup or, you know, a big pot of soup or a stew or something, whatever, a big pot of something, you add a few drops. I used to add like five drops to a bottle of ketchup to spice it up, but using it as a hot sauce, it sucks. Huh? All right. Okay, so the death nut challenge. I shared it with two people at work. I'm going to come back and do it on my own someday soon. It's uh, 13 million Scoville units. Not really. Um, the capsaicin crystals that were used from the peppers, they were 13 million. That doesn't mean the death nut is 13 million. Um, hard to say exactly where it sits, but it's definitely pretty hot. Okay, I'll definitely tell you that. Um the pain I'm getting from this is probably equal to like the fourth nut in the death nut challenge, not the fifth one, not the death nut. But like the fourth one, that's where I feel like I'm sitting right now since I did try those. Eight capsaicin sauces. Yeah. When they use capsaicin e extract, they just suck. <laughs> they do. I only like the sauces with real peppers in them, and this is definitely one of them. Yeah, all heat, no flavor, or even just bitterness. Not only that, some of them have sort of like a metallic taste to them, man. They're just weird. Excuse me. This stuff's hot. I mean, it's making my nose run. So that definitely tells me it's, it's pretty up there. Really good, though, man. I love this dish. Would I make it again? Heck, yeah. Next time, I might add some carrots, some onions, and some garlic to the rice. That's what I'm thinking. Twenty-three hour drive. Wow, dude. Take care, Joshua. Thanks. Mm. Thank you so much for tuning in. I greatly appreciate it. All y'all. And I think I'm going to close this out too because um, I've done been done describing everything, told you the ingredients, the cooking time and all that. What a fantastic dish it is. You can see I'm making my way through the plate. Definitely enjoying it all the way. So if you like what you see or just kind of repeat what I did, it should be a no-brainer. You will need an Instant Pot or just do it your own way in a regular stovetop. And that's about it. So if you're new to my channel and you like what you see, 
please go ahead and hit that subscribe button. I would really greatly appreciate it. Is it over here or is it over here? You can never tell. It's always kind of mirrored, you know. But go ahead and subscribe to my channel. Also hit like if you like what you see here. And also, I'd love for you to leave a comment down below. I love interacting with people. So with that said, we're going to buzz out of here. Thank you so much for tuning in. Have a stellar rest of your day. Be excellent to each other. And most of all, remember me. I'm KJ Andio, your food experience host with the most. It's been fun. It's been real. It's been real fun. And I will see you next time. Out. That didn't work. It was supposed to end. <laughs> All right. Later, everybody.